Ben, tell us about a race on the East Coast. You're not too far from here. You're arguably the only athlete that's going to, or the closest athlete to race in the Maryland Cycling Classic. Uh, tell us what that means to you. Yeah, the fact that I live in Virginia and the Maryland Cycling Classic is a short drive away means that family and friends who supported me, um, fans of the sport, they get to come and watch a bike race finally in person after such a long time. And the Maryland Cycling Classic is the biggest race happening in America next year. Um, I know it's something that people have been hungry for. And when you look back world championships till now, it's been about a six, next year it'll be seven uh, year gap between a major event on the East Coast. So do you take a little extra pride as an American and then you know having Europeans come here instead of you're over there racing in Europe? I absolutely take pride in having, uh, having the guys that I compete with over in Europe, in America, and I know that they enjoy coming to race in America, and especially on the East Coast. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of where I come from and uh, look forward to hosting a lot of my friends and competitors here. So you've nabbed World Tour stage wins, you've uh, done well in one day races that have a certain makeup. Um, how do you approach something like this? I know the team dynamics and, and, and the team rosters haven't been announced yet, but I'm sure this is one that the team's got circled to try to go for a win. Absolutely. Uh, this is going to be a major target for Team Human Powered Health. Um, we have a very well-rounded team to attack a race like this. Uh, we have a very strong sprint squad, and cycling is a very strategic and tactical sport. Um, so I think we'll, we'll bring our A game. And when you look at East Coast racing versus some of the races you've done in places like Colorado or, or California, uh, what's the different scope of, of uh, you know, the roads are a little more narrow, not that they're super narrow, but they're more, uh, not as much as Europe, but the East Coast riding is a little bit different than, you know, the long uh, climbs there. So will that play a factor at all in, in a little bit of recon that you would know that that maybe uh, other teams might not, just based on your experience? Um, I mean, the best riding in America, the best riding in the world is on the East Coast. We all know that. Um, but I think, I think the course that is being designed for the Maryland Cycling Classic is one that will favor sprinters, um, maybe opportunities for a punchy rider. Um, I think it will be challenging, and it will be different from what the Europeans are used to racing on. And then uh, finally, uh, talk about Baltimore County and also the finish here in the city of Baltimore. Anytime you have an urban finish, it uh, creates different dynamics. Tell us what your impressions are about Baltimore County and the hill country out there, and then also an urban type and, and what you think of Baltimore. Yeah, I think the Maryland Cycling Classic is a, a cool opportunity to see both uh, the countryside, um, beautiful pastures and hardwoods and um, just you know, gorgeous scenery, and then come back into the city, especially for the finish, where you'll have a very huge atmosphere um, with a lot of spectators. And I know that as an athlete, that's really exciting. Gets us amped up to have uh, you know a lot of people out on the course cheering. And um, yeah, Baltimore is a great place to host a bike race.